What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. So today, I wanted to come on and talk about a couple things. But before I get into those things, I owe a huge apology to Stock Market Steve's wife. She is the one who took all of the individual pictures of me and the other FOAs that you guys saw at the end of the, yesterday's video. But somehow, I forgot or did not include the picture that she and I uh, had taken. And I don't know how I missed that picture, but I did not include it in the video. And I'm very sorry to Stock Market Steve's wife that I did not include that picture. I will put that picture up somewhere here right about now. This is Stock Market Steve's wife. She is the one who took all of the individual pictures of the other FOAs and myself. And speaking of Stock Market Steve, I'd like to invite all of you guys to go over to Stock Market Steve's channel and check out his channel. He made a very from the heart video about his experience at the uh, Houston meetup. I really enjoyed the video and um, I'm going to leave the link to his channel in the description and head on over there and uh, be a part of his community as well and check out the video that he made. I really enjoyed the video. So things have kind of changed. Uh, my plans were slightly altered because of the weather here in um, Florida. I was supposed to go to, Michael and I were supposed to go to, uh, or, or uh, mm, supposed to go to um, Universal Studios today. And of course with the storm and everything here in Florida, uh, he called Universal Studios yesterday. They were not certain whether they were going to be open today. So he decided to come to Sarasota and visit his mom instead of Universal Studio. And he and his mom invited me to come down as well. And I came down with Michael and um, I am now at his mom's house. I wanna thank Michael and his mom for allowing me to come down and uh, hang out on their driveway as well as their home until the storm passes through and then um, I change my plans again. So that's where I am right now. I'm hanging out at uh, Michael's mom's house and I've just been relaxing here. Um, I slept really well through the rain and everything last night. So I feel pretty good this morning and I'm just hanging out in the van now, watching YouTube videos, relaxing, and this is me. You know, this is what I do. Um, after the storm passes, um, I decided to, I wanted to check out our campground here. Um, since I'm a, I was only technically where we were, I was an hour away from the campground. We're here in Sarasota. I'm two hours away from the campground. It's a campground that I did want to check out that I was considering like making a part of my yearly visits there, uh, my campground visits. So I'm this close. I figured I'll go and check it out for a couple of days. So I'm going there on tomorrow. I did call the campground yesterday and they did, they were closing early yesterday and they're not open today. Uh, I was told by the woman who answered the phone that everyone who was expected to come in on Thursday, uh, she called them and they changed their reservation and are now going in on Friday. Now, the good thing I do like about this campground is that if I was to go there and there are some after effects or whatever from the storm and I decide not to go there, I mean, not to stay there, they will refund my money if I leave early. They will refund those days. So that's pretty good. So I'll go there tomorrow, check out the scene and see if there was any like damage done from the storm. And if I decide that I don't want to be there uh, or if there are hardly anybody there, um, I can go ahead and leave and get the other days of my money back. So that's that and I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards. I haven't decided whether I'm going to, one, head down to Fort Lauderdale and see Lamont, two, go to Universal Studios, or three, just start making my way back to PA. 
Um, more than likely, the way that I feel now, and depending on my stay at the campground and how that go, I'm thinking that I'm going to start heading back home to PA. Um, I am coming back down to uh, Tampa uh, mid-January because I'm very interested in going to the Tampa RV show and checking out because that's supposed to be the, I don't know if it's the first or second largest in the United States, uh, to Hershey. I don't know which one of them are the biggest, the Hershey one or the Tampa one. Nonetheless, uh, it's, Tampa is going to have a lot more than what I saw at the Maryland one. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Now, I did see a couple of comments before in a, a couple of previous videos like, okay, why are you going to RV shows when you just bought a van, yada, yada, yada. Um, first and foremost, I love and enjoy going to the RV shows, whether I was in the market for one or not. It's just something that I love going. I love walking through them, and I love seeing the different variations in them. It's just something that I enjoy doing. I don't have to be in the market of getting one, although I am in the market of getting one, which is the perfect segue into the next part of what I wanted to share with you guys. I talked with this a little bit with some of the uh, FOAs that stayed over from the meetup. I shared this with them and I said to them that this minivan purchase was a temporary fix for me. It was the quickest and easiest way that I can get out of the uh, SUV. It was time for me to get out of the SUV. I had been in it over a year, and once I quit my job, that was like more time that I had to spend in the SUV, and it was something that I had to do. And when I applied for that loan at the bank and was rejected for that, it wasn't like a wake-up call, but it was more or less like, uh, okay, Anthony, you need to give it some more time so that you can establish yourself more as a YouTuber so that you can have more um, monthly earnings to show because the next vehicle that I get, I am going to finance it. I'm not going to wait until I save up enough money and, and then drop a chunk of money down all at once. I would just not feel right doing that at all because of all the, you know, all the, the work that I'm doing. Uh, and then to give most of that money away all at once. So I am looking to finance my next vehicle. Now, depending on the way the financial situation goes, once again, um, I am going to look to get an RV, a Class B RV. Uh, which one, I don't know. I will definitely have a better uh, understanding of which one that I might want to purchase after I go to the Tampa RV show. Um, but that's my first, that's my first thought to get a class B. Um, if that does not work out financially, um, then I'll, I'll do my plan A, which is to get the medium height Ford cargo van. And then I'm not going to try to build it out. I'm going to try to reach out to, um, some, uh, YouTubers, van lifers that I watch that I know from watching their channel for years that they know have the know-how to build out certain parts of a, a van and I would most likely am going to reach out to them and ask them you know offer them a job so to speak but let's just hope that I can get a a RV now when am I going to do this? My target my target month is April. Um, I hope to um, have an RV or have whichever type of vehicle that I go to next, April of next year. Uh, why April? Because two reasons. One, I would, ha I would have my W-2 form. And that's the main thing that I'm waiting for. So I should get that around uh, the first or second week of February. I will have my W-2 form. It's a it's a official document that shows my yearly income. And I feel so much comfortable and so much more confident taking that W-2 form in there and giving it to whomever. 
and say, hey, this is what my yearly income was from Google AdSense and from my other job that I left. I worked there for six months before leaving there. So I'm pretty confident that, you know, as far as the amount of yearly income, I should more than qualify to be financed for a vehicle. And the other reason is I want my different vehicle. I want my next vehicle before the start of my camping season next year, which is May. May is when I'll start going to the PA camping uh, grounds and then doing some, I'm going to say the start of my camping traveling season because I'm going to be going to the PA uh, campgrounds as I mentioned before, two weeks out of every month from May to August. Uh, the other two weeks of each of those months are probably going to be either travel weeks or they're going to be me hanging out in Baltimore and or in Pennsylvania if I chose choose not to travel at that point. So everything in my head is sort of coming together. And don't get me wrong, if neither of those plans work, I'll be more than happy to stay in my minivan uh, a little longer until, and you know, and just continue to expand things from the minivan, which probably some of you might be thinking, okay, why not just do that? Because for me, everything is a step-by-step -step progression, you know, and that's the way my mentality thinks. It's a step-by-step -step progression, and um, that's what I'm trying to do, you know? I always say that for me personally, uh, to live this lifestyle, if I am not progressing from this lifestyle, it's not a waste of time, but it's not taking an advantage of living the lifestyle. And I am going to take an advantage of living this lifestyle. I am going to st slowly but surely, step by step, work my way up to where I really want to be. Now, when I purchase an RV, or if I purchase the plan B, um, that's gonna do it until I retire. You know, I'm gonna have an RV until I retire. And once I retire, hopefully I will be in a much better position to make an even bigger step or bigger move when I retire. So there it is. That's the whole layout. That's my whole plan from now until I retire, I want to get me um, a bigger vehicle. Um, I want to get uh, until I retire. And then from there, who knows, I might try to purchase a piece of land. I might try to put a tiny house on it. I might, you know, I don't know. But that's uh, five years away from now. I don't really have to think about that too much at this point. But that's the route and that's the direction that I'm going to. You know, every YouTuber that I watch, Van Life or YouTuber that I watch, has progressed. None of them are where they are when they started the Van Life, you know? And they all seem to have a, a plan in mind, a plan that they are executing and I've seen it time after time where many many van lifers uh, started here and then there and then there and then there and that's what I say living this lifestyle should allow you to make those advancements and if you're not if you're living this lifestyle and you're not making those advancements then you know you should be but there's an airplane going over us. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It sounds like it's coming right over top of the roof. <laughs> but yes, that is my plan. And I'm very excited, you know. And I'm just going to try to execute my plan. Um, I always have a plan. I'm always thinking, as you guys know. I'm a thinker, sometimes an overthinker. But I'm always thinking of what my next move is and what I want to do. Again, this minivan purchase was the quickest solution for me to get out of the uh, SUV. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's chat and today's video. Another share what's on my mind type of video. Let you guys know where I am in my thought process, my headspace, and also with my um, future living arrangements, where, what I'm heading for. I am also working on some merch for uh, the FOA community. I decided that, that that was going to be my main focus. Uh, I did make a video asking for help, but I got some really good advice for from one or two of the FOAs and it made me kind of just take a step back and just work on one thing at a time. And that was their advice to me is to just learn what I need to learn, take my time and learn what I need to learn and work on just one thing at a time. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just work on the merch for our community. And then once that is up and going, I'll just, you know, work on something different. But yeah, I find myself sometimes trying to get too many things done. And those things that I'm trying to get done are things that I don't have uh, either not enough knowledge to get it done uh, a lot of research is involved in uh, getting certain things done. But once I read the, that advice from a couple of the FOAs, I kind of took a step back and kind of cleared my head from that perspective and just decided that I'm going to work on one thing at a time. And that's not going to be sponsorships. It's going to be merch for the FOA community. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.